Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at setting and using HOTAS controls for the rear cockpit, the WISO position. So first, let's look at setting the controls. Escape, adjust controls. At the top here, select F15E WISO. We'll start with the category Axis Commands. There are three main control elements for the WISO. You've got the control stick in the middle, kind of between his legs. Then there's the left hand controller for his left hand and the right hand controller for his right hand. In terms of axis, we need to set the slew horizontal and slew vertical for the left hand controller. In terms of how I've bound it on my joystick, there's not much use that's gonna to be to you because you're all gonna have different OTASs, different setups. What you're gonna garner from this is which ones you should actually set. So horizontal and vertical for left hand controller. Then the same thing for right hand controller not many people have enough HOTAS controls and axes and buttons to do this. So a lot of people are binding, for instance, the right hand controller, where I'm using this slew here. And then to activate the left hand controller, they're using a modifier. In this case, left control plus. So left control plus, and then the same switch does that. That's one way of doing it. Then for your main central control stick, you're going to need the pitch and roll. This is for actually flying the aircraft. The left and right hand controllers are, of course, for the sensors and screens in the aircraft. I've obviously set my rudder pedals for controlling the aircraft and my thrust left and right axes for the engines, wheel brakes again on my pedals and a generic zoom view for zooming in and out. Next, category by category, we'll go left hand controller. We want to bind everything on here. Again, don't worry too much about how I've set them out on my stick, but I've done them as similar as I could to the front cockpit, which of course I set up before the rear cockpit. So we've got the auto acquisition switches. We've got the five castle switches. We've got the two countermeasure switches. We've got the four coolie switches. We've got the laser fire. We've got the four TDC plus press, so five TDC switches. Now, that's because I've already got the slew set up, but in this case, I also wanted the binary methods of control, so up, down, left, and right as well. But in reality, you'll probably either want the axis or these binary controls. And finally, the trigger, of which you have a half action and a full action. Next, we're going to do right hand controller, which is almost going to be the same type of controls, but with a small difference. The small difference is instead of the countermeasures, you have these two AAI, the air to air interrogation. But otherwise, everything else is the same, but just for the right hand. So, what I've done again is used all of the same buttons and switches and keyboard commands, but just put a left control plus modifier in. If you want to know how to do that out of interest, then you just Click on here, you press and hold left control and then press the button that you want to assign with it. Okay, so that's left and right hand controllers. At that point, uh, I see fit to go to control stick and I want to do paddle switch. I want to do trim for of those and I want to do weapon release pickle button, which are all going to be on my control stick for my HOTAS. And then finally, or nearly finally, just to wrap things up, I like to go to HOTAS. HOTAS is a useful category where it combines everything we've looked at so far in one big screen. I prefer to do it separately, first of all, because this screen is obviously quite confusing. We just look at this point for any that we've missed. So auto acquisition, castle, left. so you've got the left control switch is first. Well, here's one that we've missed, mic switch. Uh, you're going to want call radio 2 and call radio 1. So I've just added them in as keyboard commands. Then everything is already set. Right hand controller, we've obviously already set. This one's an interesting one, set hand controller swap. I've not actually tried using that, but presumably it will allow us to swap the controls for the left and right hand controllers. Um, make sure we've got speed brake set up. Trim is already done and weapon release is already done. Right, so that's just a few added in there. That is the vast bulk of what you're going to need for the WISO. Finally, there are a couple of little extra things I just want to check. So I'm going to go to the category all but axis commands. So one, just check 
occupies the pilot seat. Two occupies the Wizzo seat. For me, J. Juliet, make sure you've got something bound for request aircraft control in case you need to control the aircraft from the rear. Next is how to use those controls. So if you see in YouTube, I've made a big playlist of how to use all of the features of the F-15E, 20 or something videos. Now I'm not going to go and remake them all for the Wizzo because the procedures are identical of how you use from the front seat. So these are all using them from the front seat. The only difference is which button on the left and right hand controller you used to do the function. And there's an easy way of translating that. Well, there's two ways of translating that. Let me show you how to do it. The first way is to grab a custom knee board. I will link you to this page here in the ED forum. Credit to Sniper42 Kennedy, who's made these lovely knee boards for us. Obviously, I'll link this in the video description. Go to download and you will download a file. Then go to your downloads area and you will see here's download. Go in there, right click on that folder there, copy. And then go to your C drive or wherever your save games are. It's probably C drive users me, uh, save games, DCS or DCS open beta, kneeboard, make that folder if you don't have it, right click and paste. And of course, there it is. It's just got some pictures in it. Then restart DCS and jump in your mud hen. Now right shift in the cockpit kilo and the kneeboard comes up. Use these commands down at the bottom to shift the page. I'll go right one and here are his four pages. Page one, page two, page three, page four. First two pages are for the front seat. Pages three and four are for the rear seat. Wizzo, stick and throttle. And most importantly for today, Wizzo, the hand controllers. Remember, the only difference between the hand controllers are the CMD and the AAI. These tell you what each of the commands does, and you can just apply them to the YouTube videos that were taken from the front seat. It's as simple as that. And for reference, why have we got a left and a right hand controller? Well, if we jump to the rear seat here, you can see that we have four screens. The left hand controller takes control of of this screen and this screen the right hand controller controls this screen and this screen now there is one more way of identifying what these hand controller commands do this is a great nearball but it doesn't give a very big description it just gives a single or a twin word description if we want a full description of exactly what each command does then we're going to go to the user manual if you want to know where the user manual is you go to the game install for me e drive DCS, I go to mods, aircraft, F-15E, dock, and there you go, you've got the manual. Go to the section that you're interested in the manual. This is the air-to-air -air radar. Scroll down a bit, or it's actually usually near the top, and it will give you a full description of what to do in the front and then in the rear seat in terms of the controls. So hand control is here, and it'll give you a full description of what each command does does so that's how you do it and there's just one more thing i want to show it and that is when dealing with the wizzo technically this applies to the front seat as well but especially the wizzo in single player and or multi-crew there may be an extra step required to assign command or take control of a certain sensor let me show you what i mean so we're in a live aircraft here i'm in the front seat i'm going to use and take control of the teapod so menu one teapod and as the pilot, I'm going to castle left long switch. I've now assigned command or taken control of the teapot. We know because we have these marker lines down at the bottom. Now, if we go into the rear seat by pressing two, we've already got the teapot loaded up here, but we are not in command of it. We know because we don't have the downward dashes at the bottom. If I want to take command of it, it would be left hand controller, coolie switch, right long press. Well, if I press it, it does not take command of it. It just says teapod in use. Let that phase out. If I wanted to force control of it from the front seat, I press it now. And then while that says that there, I press it again. And I've now taken control of it. So basically double press to take control of the sensor if the other seat already has command or control of it. And that applies to the front and the rear seat. That's it. We've shown which commands you need to bind and how you learn which command does what and how to apply it to the procedure. I hope that was useful and bye-bye.